and <laughs> I can feel my heart rate rising at this. I nearly broke a window once. In actual fact, he was out to get every single one of them. guys and a big welcome back to my channel now I know you guys have wanted sexy series back ever since I kind of stopped a couple of weeks ago but I was just rethinking about the topics I wanted to talk about and this one is a very personal one and it follows on from a blog post I recently wrote about abuse and this was a relationship that I had several years ago um, and I've well and truly moved on from that now and it was actually so nice to talk about it and so what I wanted to talk about with you guys is the scenario of being branded a psycho or perhaps um, being seen by others as someone who has trust issues um, and I think this is very normal and <laughs> I can feel my heart rate rising at this because I know there are girls out there that have been told that I am a psycho and to be honest I totally totally was um, however that version of me has not been around since I've met my husband so that is eight years now that I have definitely not had a single psycho moment and so what I want to talk to you about is how different relationships can create a different version of you and you can choose to let that version of you rule you or you can choose to step away and be the person that you want to be the person that makes you feel happier so I hope you guys are gonna like this video I don't know how long it's gonna be um, but please remember to hit that subscribe button and also please comment below with any other sexy or more just like relationship life topics that you would like me to cover if you don't want to put them in the comments then obviously just email me and I will reply but otherwise let's get into this video so previously I was in uh, an amazing relationship at first and unfortunately the trust went and I think trust is one of the biggest tools for a relationship and um, I can say that now because I'm happily married although who knows what's going to happen in future I hope that this lasts but if it doesn't then I have learned one huge thing which is that if the trust leaves I personally feel you have to go and it's not because you don't want to be with them but it's because the version of you that then happens is generally not a very nice person in my experience and for me when the trust left I became someone who had no trust obviously and would check the phone I would be kind of rude to that person because I had no respect for them anymore I was not fun to be around I second-guessed every single thing that they did and every movement that they made and every decision that they made and it wasn't their fault it was their fault to a degree because obviously they had broken the trust but it was my fault because I decided to stay and I decided to stay because I felt that we could fix it and unfortunately we just couldn't fix it and I knew that I think every single one of us has a little gut feeling that you may or may not be able to fix it and I think if you can forgive and forget then you can fix it but if you can only forgive but you can't forget and the trust issues are still there then I'm pretty sure that it's not going to work. So for me I found that I was a very former shell of myself. I was very unhappy. I was um, second guessing how I looked, my appearance, I wanted to change myself all the time. I permanently was looking at other girls and judging myself. I found myself not wanting to be friends with other girls and presuming every girl was out to get my boyfriend. And they may well have been, I think in actual fact he was out to get every single one of them. But I became a very ugly person, an ugly person inside. And I just remember this continuous sick heart rate feeling um, where I was just chasing the passion and chasing this person's affections which was so unattractive and I must have come across so desperate um, and I was right to feel this way because I had been my heart had been broken I was trying to fix something that I loved so much but I knew it was going to break me in the process and I think if I can like look down on myself now and, and see myself going through that I would scream scream to get out and I see a lot of my friends and people around me and you guys on social media stuck in relationships that have created a new version of you that you don't really like and honestly when I think of the person I am now like I'm so passionate I'm so happy I love women <laughs> I look at women and I just think she's gorgeous she's gorgeous and with Leon we can both be like she's beautiful and he can be like she's really hot and I can say he's gorgeous and he's really hot and there is nothing that enters my mind other than they're hot and then that that's gone that second because 
There is nothing extra to this. I know he's not interested, I'm not interested. We both can just appreciate the beauty in other people, but because we have trust now, I think the hardest part is knowing that there are so many girls out there who will know me as Carly, who was psycho over her ex. And yeah, I remember that I, um, I one night I drove out to try and find him at like two in the morning, um, drove around, around, around the city trying to find him. I nearly broke a window once because I caught him kissing someone else. Um, it is insane the kind of person you become. I never wore color, I barely wore makeup. I would say like, sorry if I bumped into a tree. Um, felt sick all the time, my food habits were terrible, I was self-conscious in the gym, I would seek attention from other people to try and validate how I was feeling, I would kick off arguments because I wanted some kind of affection, all things that I now know now is just like a cry for help for someone to love me. Um, unfortunately, it just wasn't the right relationship. And so I guess what I'm trying to say to you here is if you are being branded a psycho or perhaps the person you're with is telling you that you're a psycho. Um, just take a step back and think why they might be calling you that. Are you being a psycho? Are you happy being this person? Or have you been created into being this person because of where you are in your relationship? Because you can totally break free. Um, I did, and although it was really hard, my God was it the best thing ever. Um, because I felt like literally a butterfly just being set free. I started wearing color again. I, I had eyeshadow, I had nail varnish colors. I um, could talk to people. I yeah, and the funniest thing is since I've met so many girls who've dated the same person and they've all had the same experience. So if you feel negatively about yourself right now, don't presume that's how you're going to feel always and also don't presume that's how every relationship should be because it's not. I will, however, say one thing about those kind of relationships. They come with such extreme highs and lows that I don't think any other relationship ever really amounts to the same feeling. Um, I love Leon more than anything, anything on this planet. However, the love that we have is very consistent. It doesn't come with this mental, I love you moment and like complete extreme sadness and chasing. So my heart isn't always pounding. It just comes with stability, safe, trust, friendship, love. And so sometimes I think that beginning part of a relationship, you can get it confused with, is there a spark? And there's a very different thing between having a spark and love with someone versus having drama and chase with someone. And after a little while, I think you'll start to realize that love and trust is so much better for your life because you will grow and enhance versus chasing these extreme highs and lows and drama-filled moments which make you feel alive for just a minute but also make you feel awful for just as long. Um, so if you're in a relationship like this right now, just maybe take a step back, have a think about it. Think about how you've changed positively and negatively. Ask yourself if you trust this person. Ask yourself if you like yourself. And uh, if the answer to either of those is like no, get on out. <laughs> Uh, but I'm happy to answer any questions on this and I am not a relationship guru however I see a lot of people go through this and I just want you to know that you can totally get out of it and fall in love with yourself and then when you fall in love with yourself and I hate this you so find people that fall in love with you you attract totally attract what you put out so um yeah I hope this was helpful uh, let me know what next sexy video you would like in the comments below and I'll get filming it see you guys very soon bye guys I've been trying to take my eyes off you Oh girl, it ain't easy, just let go of that body